Personally, what do you take away from getting more carries towards the end of the season? Um, I just know I could do it. Just know I'm capable of carrying the ball. I'm capable of running the ball. And um, I can get the job done. You know, this year was my first year playing the whole season, finishing up all the games and coming out injury free. And I think that was huge for me going into this year. So that's one of the goals I achieved. And it's time to go farther with it. How do you feel like you've grown this year? And what kind of role would you like to have in the future? Um, I just feel like I've. I've gotten healthy, so I've been able to do my job or get those opportunities and have those shots on the field to where I can make plays. And I feel like I went out there and did that. So going into next year, I just want to want to take, step my game up to another level. It's time to it's time to be be better than I was last year. And I feel like every year you got to have that growth if you want to keep playing this league. Do you feel like and would you like to be the feature back for the entire season? Absolutely. I mean, that's that's the goal. That's the goal for every running back in this league to take on that job, and you got to be able to handle it. And I think that's going to be important coming into next year. Is what what can I handle, and what can our group handle, and what what kind of season, do we, what kind of back do we need to have? And I think that's that's definitely a goal of mine. Why do you think that hasn't happened yet? As far as as what? far as being a feature back, um, just 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 injuries and um, guys going down and guys being able to do different things. And I think Doug does a great job of putting us in different positions to be successful. I mean, it's hard to game plan when you got three, four backs that can do do different things different and go out there and compete and be as good as any other back. So when you got a room like that, you gotta, you gotta use it. So I think he does a great job with that, of getting us all in, getting a certain type of plays and things that I stride at, things that Sproul stride at, Josh and Corey and Jay, and the, the list goes on is just, it's just amazing how, how they handle it and, and what kind of game plan going into games, what we have. And we, we all love it. That's, it's the running back room. That's how we think. We want to we wanna take on most of the job. So whether it's Jay, me, Corey, whoever's out there, we want them to succeed. You know, a lot of the talk this offseason is going to be the quarterback situation. In this room, how confident are you guys that Carson's the guy, that he can stay healthy and you know bring you guys I mean, back and further than you went this year? I mean, Carson's instilled that since he's been here that he's, he's the guy. And, he, he's going to work his tail off, and he's going to do it. Go out there and compete, and give give every 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 little bit he has, whether whether he's going down or not. I know he's going to work to get back, and that guy is a true true motivator, true competitor. And I know him seeing this season end like this. I know it, it, it kind of hunts him a little bit, so I know he's probably going to start training tomorrow and getting ready for next season. What's he been like on the sidelines throughout his injury process? Um, he's he's just been a, just the same guy all the time. I mean, he he encourages us, he coaches us. Um, throughout the week, he. He goes about the game plan almost as if he's playing and what he wants to see and wants what he wants Nick to Nick to do, what he wants the receivers to do, how he wants the running backs to do something, and this we're all, we're kind of all on the same page. And I think going into those games, having Carson, having Nick, those guys to talk to us and um, it helps helps us be successful. What's it been like having Darren Sproles here? Obviously, he said before the season he wants this to be his last year, but now it might not be. What's he been like in the locker room for you? Um, just he's just showed me how to how to be a true pro, how to handle my business, how to take care of my body and, you know, his position, our position, how small he is and how long he's played. That's that's not something you see every day. So I make sure I get those secrets from him and just just learn from him. And it doesn't always have to be talk. I just watch him every day, how he he never walks through a walkthrough. He run, he goes full speed. He 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 does massages. He does acupuncture. He does everything to get his body right. And I think I've took him to that since I've got here and got to be with him. You anticipate a lot of change. I mean, you know that's kind of the way of the world in the NFL. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, you. I mean, this is probably the, yesterday was probably the last time that, that this team would play together. Um, you know, obviously, it's the business part of this thing that people have to understand that there will be new faces in this locker room next year, and you just got to welcome those guys. And you know, to the guys that's, that won't be here, you know, you know, it sucks to see them leave. You know, knowing they were great teammates, knowing they was a part of something special, um, and uh, you know, you just wishing the best. How hard will it be to build that camaraderie again with a new roster? You got to do it. I mean, that's why we're professionals. I think you have to do it. And it, it just begins in the offseason when guys, when, when new guys get here, um, you just start building that, building that bond right there and building that trust in those guys, um, holding those guys accountable from the, the first day that they're, that they're in the locker room with the team. So, um, you know, it just kind of got to start then. How, what, how painful was it playing yesterday for you? For me? Yeah. Oh, very painful. But at the same time, man, I said, man, these guys know, man. I mean, you look a couple weeks ago before that, I had a freaking – Freaking torn hip flexion. I'm still out there battling with those guys. You know, I, I, I put it all on the line. Man. I leave it on the field, and um, and that, that's what it comes down to. Um, you know, being one of the one of the leaders, um, being one of the, you know, just one of the, you know, one of the best, you know, D tackles in the league, man. It just. 
just push me, just go out there and just show the world that I can battle through it all. But you played a lot of football. If you guys want, you would play next week. <laughs> I guess that's up to the doctors. <laughs> but you played a lot of football the last couple of years. You're going deep, you know, winning Super Bowl last year, two two weeks into the playoffs this year. And I know you'd rather still be playing, but is there a benefit to getting getting into the off season a, a little bit earlier than last year? I mean, not. I mean, it, whatever. I mean, you look at it however you want to take it. But obviously, we still want to be playing um, in in three weeks or whenever it is. It's always a goal, man. And uh, you know, the biggest thing for us now is you know. Just got to regroup for next year um, and just got to I mean, being in the postseason two years in a row right now. I think, you know, that's the culture around here. And when you build that culture, then it's expected. So now from now on, I feel like it's expected from this, you know, from this team. Well, sir, if it came down to it, how much would you miss the guy that's lockered right next to you? Uh, man, BG been locker mates for seven years, man. <laughs> Since the day I got here, we were locker mates and uh, I miss him a lot. Um, if, if anything was to happen, we played a lot of ball together. We won Super Bowls together. We went through tough times together. I went through, you know, just so many situations together, man. And, uh, you know, I just hate to see a player like that. Um, if he's not here, and the will be a different body there, man. Like you said, man, we all rent these lockers, and someday my day will come, and you just never know.